All right, today I'm gonna teach you how to make money. Good morning and welcome to episode number 57 of In The Car With Clint. Firstly, I will apologize for the darkness of this video. It is still early here in South Australia and I'm on my way to work and I've just needed to get this out of me. The video has been going over and over in my head for the last 24 hours um, after I did some budgeting stuff yesterday and I've been speaking to a few business owners um, about their numbers. And the title of this video was gonna be Know Your Numbers um, and I think the video is more around how to make money and they're kind of tied to the same thing. You need to understand the financial markers in your business and I'm talking, you need to be deeply inside your numbers. It is the responsibility of you as an owner or a manager or a supervisor, whatever position you are in, if you do not know your numbers, you cannot run a successful business. And that is it. Now I've spoken about this before, but if you don't have a good accountant, you are in trouble. And I'm gonna do this one more time. I'm gonna mention my accountant um, and the firm that they work for. This is not a paid advertisement. I use Dion Carboni. Uh, from Hood Sweeney. Hood Sweeney are a larger firm in Adelaide and I enjoy using a larger firm because they have access to more resources and the knowledge pool is shared across lots of accountants. You're not just dealing with one person in one room that did their accounting um, education in the 90s and hasn't done any further education. Not saying that there's any there are bad people out there doing that, but I'm just saying think about the business that you're dealing with. Now let's get into it. How do you make money? You need to sell something, right? Service, product, whatever it might be, for more money than it costs you to run the operation that sells it. And that is it. And I see so many people selling something that costs them more money than it ch they charge to the client for the product or service that they do. It is insane to do this. And if you're doing that, Unless you're trying to run at a loss or some kind of charitable thing and you're trying to save the world and it's just how it has to be, you are not running a business. You are you are running a business at a loss, you are not running a business. Now, it depends, look, I don't know why you've gotten into business or why you're running a business or why you're doing what you're doing, but ultimately the net result of the business has to be profit because if the idea of the business is to grow it, like for me, I'm trying to grow the business because it makes me feel good and it's a game and I love winning and it's just a process, you need profit to feed the beast. If you're trying to buy a Lambo, or you want to buy a private island, you need profit. If you're trying to save the world, you need profit. If you're just trying to maintain a happy lifestyle and ensure that your kids can go to private school and that you've got a nice house, two cars, you can buy whatever food you want each week, you need profit. So, what, what I'm doing at the moment, we're leading into the end of financial year, is I'm budgeting for my three companies, Yep, there's three there. And where I start is at the bottom, right? So when you're looking at your profit and loss, all these people are looking at the top line, right? I love top line revenue, massive fan of it. It's my it's my only goal that I talk about. But if you don't have bottom line profit, you're not gonna be able to drive top line revenue. Now, how do you do that? You start with the bottom line, right? So for me, we try to work on a 10% net profit at a minimum and work our way back up. So I know, okay, well, 10% net, um, you know, we've been doing six or seven, let's talk waterproof for, for example. We've been doing six or seven million dollars. Um, I want my bottom line um, profit before taxes to be $700,000 and I work my way back. So all of my costs are in there, my insurance, um, my licensing, my wages, which is gonna be your highest cost in many cases. And you put them all in a spreadsheet and they go up to the top line. Now, if the bottom line is 10%, the top line will be 700, sorry, if it's 700 grand, it'll be $7 million. So from that $7 million, you, you take out all your costs and then there should be a number left at the bottom, $700,000. Now, I do this in reverse. I put in my bottom line, it creates my top line, and then I put all my costs in. And if the costs, if the costs out, um, play the bottom line profit, then you have to adjust your costs. That's how you run a business. So you remove things until you get it right. Now, this can work for any size business. Obviously, if you're um, a small um, business t uh, turning over even $100,000 or $200,000 and it's a service-based business um, and you're working out of your office, uh, your home office, then you just have to adjust your costs. You've got a 200, so say you wanna make $150,000. The 10% rule's not gonna work as well here because you're a service-based business and you're independent. But you've got, you wanna make $150,000. You put all your costs above that that it costs to operate the business, so how much you're paying to rent the room in your house, your internet, your insurances, um, all of the costs, and then 
they'll give you a top line revenue. And I know this sounds so basic, but so many people don't do it. You need to know your numbers. So spend some time on your budget. If you haven't got a budget, you are nuts. You should be looking at your budget almost daily. I'm looking at our sales every single day. They all are all reported to me. I'm looking at my bank balances probably four times a day. I know exactly where all my money is all the time. And it enables me to sleep well at night. And it enables me to make really, really intelligent decisions around what we're going to do, around tax planning, around further employment, around hiring people. And you, it's just a better way. Like, you, you can't, it mind blows me. Didn't, I was going to say a dirty word then. That people are running businesses and have done for years without stopping to analyze why they're doing it and then how they're doing it. So I'm hopefully gonna put some videos together on how to do a budget um, or how I do a budget, everyone does it differently. Um, if you're interested in that, just stick in the comments section below this video budget and I'll put a video together on how I do it. If no one's interested, I'm not gonna waste my time on it. I'm trying to run three companies, so I'm hoping to help you. Um, if that helps you, that's great. If not, continue on in your happy, happy day. Um, if you're liking the content, give it a like. I know I keep saying it, but this might be the first time you've watched a video. If it is the first time you've watched one of my videos, thanks for stopping by. Um, have a wonderful day. Be kind to each other, and I'll talk to you real soon.